Uh, right on the get go here, let's let's answer that question from the last video. It, it 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 had to do with that hole right there on the top of that vent right there. There's a hole in there. And uh, uh, well, here on the east coast of Arkansas, if you leave that hole like that, a dirt dauber will come along. A leaf, one of them leaf wasp will come along and build a nest in there. And the, the way you discourage that and still maintain the vent is you take a a cotter pin and you bend it. You see how I done already bent that cotter pin? This is a real little bitty one with a head on it just enough to not fall through the hole. And you bend it, I uh, cut it off there and then I bent it with the uh, with the needle nose there and made a made a little made a little uh whatever shape that is if you can see it and and when what you do is you squeeze that thing together you, you you pull it apart there so it'll have tension on it and you squeeze it together to where both legs goes in there and then you push it down in there and once that big place goes past the hole then and the head won't go down in there okay it's not a round hole anymore and a dirt dauber won't a dirt dauber won't build no nest in there and it's still got a vent and and occasionally if you want to know that it's working you can wiggle that around to clean any debris out of there but it's just a good way to discourage a wasp okay let's move on that's enough of that uh, and then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and remove this pipe right here. I put that in the last episode. I'm going to, I'm going to put that aside because I don't want nothing on the engine that is not it, that's not ready to go. It, kind of put it together as we go. The uh, and the spacer goes right here on this side. Spacer. Uh, there, there was an accessory that was available for these engines that had a uh, uh, you bolted it on the back of the engine here, and it had a big old gear. It's, it was a, a, a accessory gear drive for these things. Uh, changed the RPM, and, and and you 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 removed this right here, and the, and the and the other part went right in there. The gear did. That was what that's for. But I'm going and and I'm just going to put just a. I'm going to put a little dab of grease in there, uh, just ever such a little bit. Uh, right on the back side of here, on where that flange goes, uh, not enough to, and right on the inside there, like that right there, just, just enough to where that, it, 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 it'll have grease under. Clean up as you go. Okay, now that's installed. That's good as that can get. And, uh, uh, well, um, let's see, let's, uh, this, this greaser right here, uh, that greaser is going to be a subject of, uh, of a future show and tell. This right here, I'll show you, let's put some, let's put some gasket sealer on here, right around through there, just enough, and right up in there on them threads right there, uh, just enough. And this gasket sealer right here, uh, it, it's you know it uh, if you do get that on a uh, moving part I don't think it's abrasive or anything so I think it would be okay to uh, uh, it's it's a it's a user friendly let's let's say that and this right here oh yeah y'all know this right here is a one of them uh, it's a it's a backwards thread, left-hand thread they call it. And this right here, you 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 put that you put that you put that. Uh, I really needed a flywheel over in order to hold that. That needs to be a little bit tighter. Let's see. So what I'm going to do, I want to tighten that a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a flywheel up here just in order to hold yeah. it. Now that we got us a flywheel on there, put a key in there. That way I can, that way I can hold that flywheel over there, and I can tighten this up the way it's supposed to be. And and I I will I will. That's pretty tight. It's tight enough. 
and I will tell you that that uh, you watch uh, some engines on the showgrounds, and actually they will leak grease right here in them threads instead of pushing it into the crank shaft throw as they're supposed to. It'll actually push it out right here. So that's the reason that you do put a gasket sealer there, clean it up really good. No. Uh, we will talk about that a little bit later. But turn that around, make sure everything's right. So, leave a comment. We 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 will we will do this when I preload the crankshaft. The less uh, the EK Magneta trip mechanism. The parts to that is this arm here and this spring and the little prowl thing okay there's no oil hole to that so what i'm going to do and i i don't we're not going to paint this engine if i was going to paint this little little uh, uh 30 weight 9 detergent motor oil just a little bit just a little bit i put on there and then I'm going to put drop it down in that hole right there so that it works really good and it's got some oil around it, but not excessive, just enough. Uh, we'll, we will excessive oil it later. And I do have a finish in mind of this engine. And it, this is not a place to use grease. Uh, I think we kind of talked about that a little bit uh, uh, later, earlier. But if you... If you grease this, if you put grease on this shaft right here, and you assemble it, okay, what what will happen is just kind of give it some thought there and, and figure it out in your own mind. But what happens is, let's say that's greased up, and you slide this up on here, okay, it will push the grease up yonder excessive amount, and it'll seal up that, but you use oil here, not grease, because this is, this, this assemble is lubed with oil, okay, there's no oil hole in this right here, I am going to put a little bit right there, and let that run down, so I can, no, I'm not going to, I'm going to move it out there and do it right, uh, put a little bit right there, and uh, put it around there with your finger okay and we got that up there like that and that up like that now when when you put this part here on here to trip your ek magneto this is the trip it has oil hole in the top right there that's where you oil this system at the the way this thing works is if you was oiling this well let's just put it together and we'll talk about it Let's oil this up right here, really good, all the way around, because this is going to be the initial, we, we're putting it together. Okay, that's a plenty, a little bit right there. And like I say, I'm not going to paint this, so this right here can be a little bit different. Uh, if you are going to paint it, uh, you'd be painting it before you put all of this oil on here. But it's uh it's that it's that funny shape that this thing right here goes first and that little thing fits in that little hole in there and then that spring right there and then this washer right here goes on there and you push all of that over yonder and put the right size cotter in there you push that over yonder like that and put that cotter in there and and you see that I did go to the trouble and cut that cotter to size we're going to take that back off uh, it's i'm just uh, showing you something now the, the the way you would oil that thing is it it if you squirt oil in here and it runs over yonder to the end right yonder and drips away and then it comes out here to the front between this washer spacer thing and that right there and runs down in yonder and then it runs back along this shaft this moving part here that's all the oil that that gets and if you had that packed up with grease right there at some point in time it, that oil would never flow through yonder. Even when you're oiling it, it's a good idea to squirt a little oil right yonder and right yonder and right yonder and right here. Oil it way too much. 
and and that the tension on that spring right there holds all of that inward to where that this hole here on your then the hole down yonder where it says run and a hole up here where it says start that will fall into that little prowl will fall into there and lock it in there and keep it secure when it's running start and run and 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 and, 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 and I let me tell you if this is your first engine you're putting together uh, if you if your timing ain't right and everything and you got this thing on run right here and you crank it over, Gunner, uh, it's, yeah, yeah, you think it's going to break your arm. Now, now that all of that's explained, let's take that back apart, Gunner.